consistent downward revisions to the data raise questions about whether there's broader economic weakness beneath the surface. The BLS revised down job growth in 10 of the 11 months of last year by an average of 42,000 per month. And we don't know yet about all of November and December. The question is, why are the data being revised and what does it all mean for the economy? I talked to two top BLS economists. They explained to me that revisions are mostly but not entirely from seasonal adjustments. Seasonals have been impacted by big swings up and down during the pandemic and post-pandemic years. But consistent revisions can occur during economic transitions. Well, the last time we had such a consistent year of downward revisions, 2008, when the economy was entering a recession. In that year, 11 of 12, or 92 percent of the months were revised down, compared to 91 percent so far in 23. Since 2001, you can see on the right side of your screen there, there's actually a slight upward bias towards positive revisions. So this is really out of sample, so to speak. The persistence of negative employment revisions tells us the labor market is much weaker than the last monthly report shows, says uh, Joe, Joe Lavornia. This leaves the economy vulnerable to a downturn. Revisions have not been big, particularly large, only persistent. The total revisions so far this year, only half as large as they were in 08. In that year, job declines were made more negative. Now they're just being made less positive, so not as bad. Up to a point here, this weakness is good news for a Fed trying to loosen up the labor market. The concern would be if these revisions end up being the leading edge of something deeper, emphasizes that the Fed now has risk on both sides of the mandate, both the inflation side and the employment side. I think it also tells investors when these numbers come in, you got to take them with a grain of salt. Right. Yeah. Okay, but the, as you handicap this, the, and there's always this good news is bad news, bad news is good news situation. Has that now flipped? I think up to a point, right? I mean, if, if we were revising negative numbers more negative, that's a problem. The idea that there's a little less froth on the top of this market here and it keeps being less froth is probably a good thing. You know, yesterday it was interesting. Um, around 4.30 in the afternoon, Fed Governor Bowman came out with a speech. She's like the last diehard hawk on the Fed board. She kind of threw in the towel saying she believes we can get inflation down without additional rate hikes. She also said it's possible that we um, are at the sufficiently restrictive level and there could be cuts this year. It's, everybody else was sort of there, but she was one of the last. And, I, and she did mention specifically the idea the labor market's loosening. So I mm -hmm. think that the Fed is onto this idea. You know what, though? When you have all these revisions, what it tells me is that it's a lousy way to collect sample size. ADP doesn't revise their numbers. They know what they are. They don't. They don't. And the problem is also the seasonal adjustments, which is a problem AD, everybody has with that, especially when you come off these last couple of years. You, you have fingered another issue that I didn't talk about in this report, which is the sample sizes are going down. The response rate for the BLS is going down. They eventually get it, yeah. um, but over time, and you're right, that may mean, and we need to just be careful about this because I don't want to get too wonky, but ADP changes methodology back. We don't know yet how true ADP is relative to what the BLS I it was will done eventually true. Size up. Of actual looking at real it's numbers. much bigger. It's yeah, it, it, it is true, but they still are, are there's still some seasonal uh, adjustments in there that need to be careful about. So mm -hmm. I just want to see over time, but. There is an argument that you are making, Becky, that is potentially 100 percent right. I mean, we trade on these numbers. The market moves on these numbers that um, aren't really done on a great database, especially if you've got constant revisions. And what's even a little freakier, maybe, is when does the market actually trade on the truth? On the revisions. Never. Never. <laughs> so, <laughs> so a big number comes in. Comes, the market reacts to whoever it's going to work to a big number. Yeah. Then later it's revised away. When does the market trade on that? Now, I think it's fair to say the 71,000 downward revisions to the two prior months that came out in December, there was a lot of talk about that that said, hey, you know, it wasn't as strong as we thought.